With the recent acquisition of a 148,000 square foot warehouse, JTHS will have the ability to bring back students with behavioral disabilities who are placed out of district, saving the district thousands of dollars per year. Space will be made available through the relocation of the JTHS Transportation Center, which is currently housed at the central campus. The newly acquired warehouse, located at the intersection of Hobolt Road and Interstate 80, is a prime location due to its proximity and access to main highways. It will house almost the entire fleet of 150 vehicles, which will save the district money on maintenance, labor, fuel, and winter vehicle damage. The relocation of the transportation center will save the district about a million dollars per year. The 17,000 square foot building at the central campus, previously used for transportation, will be renovated to state-of-the-art classroom and office space to benefit students with special needs. In addition to using the building to bring back students with behavioral disabilities, the transition center for disabled students aged 18 to 22 years will also benefit from the new space. The space will be equipped with a kitchen, laundry facilities, a cafeteria, and classroom space. The area of the transportation center that was occupied by a fleet of over 150 buses will be reconfigured to add green space for physical education classes. It will also add convenient parking for athletic events. With the District Infant Child Care Center and Adaptive Vocational Academic Center housed at the central campus, additional space is needed. A conceptual plan to create space proposes the demolition of the Little Theater Building which is located across from the central campus main entrance. Due to the age and design of this building, it would be economical to build a new state-of-the-art facility that would meet the needs of district programs while creating additional space at the central campus. The proposed two-story, 32,000 square foot building would house the Infant Child Care Center, AVAC program, and include a community center open to parents, students, and the community. The building could also house the central campus cafeteria and bookstore. The cafeteria is currently located on the fourth floor of the central campus and is beyond capacity. The fourth floor cafeteria could undergo complete renovation, becoming a state-of-the-art library media center. Moving the cafeteria allows the existing library to be converted into additional classroom or meeting space. The Joliet Central Bookstore is located in a remote section in the lower level of the building. The conceptual plan to relocate the store to the new building makes access to the store more convenient for parents and students. It also creates additional classroom space. Construction of a bridge to connect the main campus to the new building is also proposed as part of this project. This creates a safe, efficient pathway for students and community. With the reestablishment of two athletic teams, Joliet Central students no longer have to commute to another campus for practice or home games. Because athletic events and practices will now be held at the Central Campus, renovations to the existing athletic facilities are necessary. Proposed upgrades to the outdoor athletic facilities include the addition of locker rooms, public bathrooms, a concession stand, and storage facilities. New state-of-the-art field turf and running tracks are being installed at both Central and West Campus. A proposal to relocate the tennis courts to the northwest side of the athletic fields is also under consideration. There are currently six courts in very close proximity to one another. With the move, two additional courts would be added. The new site includes space for spectator viewing and adequate space between courts. The Technical and Industrial Building, which was built in 1957, no longer meets the standards necessary to deliver modern technological instruction. To effectively prepare students to compete and contribute to the ever-evolving workforce, a conceptual plan for renovations will incorporate the technological tools and workspace needed for the 21st century learner. The proposed renovations create an environment specifically designed for the technical and industrial fields. The T&I building is the only structure at the central campus that does not mirror the steel and stone history of the Joliet community. In addition to interior renovations, a conceptual plan for stone facade is also part of the proposal. Central campus sits near the heart of downtown Joliet. To create a less urban environment, a plan to close Eastern Avenue from Jefferson to Clinton would decrease traffic around the school and provide additional green space. A direct path to Silver Cross Field can be created, improving the appearance and appeal for community members. 
This plan creates a true campus close to the heart of downtown Joliet.